Hello everyone. It's once again my pleasure to share with you the word of God, share with you certain revelations that have changed my life that have helped me in my spiritual walk, that have helped me mature and helped me walk in the peace and rest of God. There is something that the Lord was speaking to me and he caused me to meditate on it and make this word a part of my life. and this was about doing the right things this is the time and season where god is looking for spiritually intelligent people he just does not want people who call his name and who are just about doing everything but this is the time where you got to do what you got to do you got to be at the right place at the right time doing the right things what's the use if i give you a plate of food without salt and then when i give you the salt you sprinkle the salt all over but not in the dish not in the plate not in your cuisine what happens it's just worth nothing it's worth nothing so that's exactly what i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to explain to you the way the lord has been explaining this to me that i got to be at the right time doing the right thing Now when the Lord Jesus Christ was about to die when he was about to be crucified he went to Lazarus's house and in Lazarus's house when he was sitting and dining with him Mary walked in and she walked in with an alabaster box now this lady was not a disciple of Christ she was not with Christ she was not 24/7 found with Christ but she was a lady who was possessed she was a prostitute and the lord had set her free now she came in she was the only one who walked in with the alabaster box and why did she come in with this alabaster box she came in to anoint the lord and who had told her how did the holy spirit tell her and gave her that revelation that the lord was about to be crucified and he needed to be anointed the disciples got no revelation of of such a sort and they were 24/7 with jesus but there was something special about the relationship that this lady had with her lord she knew she the relationship that she had with the lord was more intimate she used to call him her lord because he was the one who took away her demons he was the one who set her free so the level and the intimacy of the relationship that she had with the lord was absolutely different so she when she brought the alabaster box the disciples especially judas had to say that why did you sell this for more money because that was the most precious thing that she had with her at that time but she knew her timings she knew what she was what was required of her she knew what was required of her that box was not to be sold the alabaster box the perfume the precious ointment was not to be sold that was not the time to make money out of it but that was the time to come and anoint the lord beloved people this is the time where you need to hear the voice of the spirit carefully where you need to spend more time with the holy spirit so that you are doing exactly what you're called to do so that you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do the lord says that many will call me lord 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 i have done this in your name i have raised the dead in your name but i will deny them saying that i know i don't know you you don't want that to happen with you in fact you want every day every season of your life to be fruitful and this is the magic when you are doing the right things at the right time that's the magic for the supernatural so i just leave you with this word you are from the holy spirit you don't have to be all over the place but you got to just be doing what you got to be doing whether it just be faithfully raising your kids whether it just be faithfully coming to church and cleaning the chairs of your church but that is what is required of you at that time don't move out of the mark just be there doing what you are called to do because your blessing and your anointing is in that particular job so learn how to be the salt for the lord 
learn how to make his kingdom more tasty learn how to make his kingdom more worth it and this these are such people the lord needs in this time those who know how to establish the kingdom on the earth stay blessed i hope this word has encouraged you and i just pray that the lord speaks to you more divinely more intimately i pray that your relationship with the lord keeps growing more intimate and you have a relationship not like the disciples but a closer revelation that which mary had stay blessed in jesus name